Jeez, how good is this, eh? Nice, quiet, nice cold beer on the edges of Murray River. Hey, okay, beautiful, huh? Anyway, yeah, I'll just put in what's going on with this bed. Um, well, we've been parked up at my sister's farm for the last, or well, since just before Christmas. Uh, in between giving them a hand on the farm and catching up with the family, we've done a couple of uh, little day trips out and about the area here. So, um, we're not the Mount Penambra to the fire tower up there, out the back of Yak and Dander, a couple of trails out that way. And a bit of fishing on the uh, Kiwa River out of the canoes. And uh, a couple of little spots just around the Beechworth area. So, um, don't know if you're other bits of pieces in there, but anyway, I've got this one on this video this time. So, I uh, hope you enjoy it. So, grab yourself a beer, sit back, have a look, see what you reckon. And if you reckon it's all right, give us a thumbs up, hit the su subscribe, of course, too. Yeah, don't forget that. We've almost, we've almost got a, got a thousand subscribers, so we need a few more still. Anyway, kick back and enjoy it, just like I am now. You were tall, I looked up From where I sat, wished I would Oh, we've got a bit of a day out today with a couple of mates, a couple of old, old time schoolmates and uh, friends from yeah. back in the uh, early days back home here. So we're just, just up at the upper part of the Hume Weir. Um, just, up, just up past Talangata. We're heading up, to, uh, I think we're heading up towards Midder somewhere, I'm not real sure. Um, so just, uh, hang on, let's just get around this corner here. Oop, there we go. Uh, up the, uh, the up towards Meta. And uh, we're hit, gonna hit a few tracks up that way and um, have a bit of fun, a bit of lunch. So, uh, I don't know, Dave said there's a couple of nice little, little tracks up here. So, you know, we'll go and check it out. We've got a beautiful day here today. It's actually about 30, 31 degrees, which is great. They've been a nice weather for a change. Well, it's been pretty warm the last few weeks anyway. Yeah, um, it has. And a couple of tight corners, you're watch where I'm going. <laughs> anyway, just have a look at the window there, just swing over here, and uh, it's part of the Middle, middle River. Well, I'll just give you back the bit when I'm driving the car. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, keep on going, end up here, and um, show what this is all about. Your first line won't forget So is it true no one's taking you yet I remember people staring as we stepped outside They had only one goal Give me all for your mind I was no good they said You could do much better but You gave them one little finger and the door shut Cause I know we Use. Hello. No. <laughs> well, I don't know if you can see it up there, but the top of that hill and big hill in front of us, in uh, this in the cloud, there's a tower, fire tower. So that's where we're heading up that way. So that could be interesting bit later on. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, we'll check out the views from up there when we get there. I'll just let the tyres down a bit. Starting to get a bit steeper and a bit rockier too, so we've got about 42 in these at the moment. So I'm going to drop these down to about, uh, about 25, 26. So um, give us a big, bit better footprint on the ground. And uh, hopefully no damage to the tyres as well. Yeah. <laughs> All good. <laughs> Now that we've come so far They're going nuts but how happy we are See the bond that we made It all seems real Whoa <laughs> Jesus 
hard to tell you how stupid it is. I feel like your stomach's coming out up your mouth. Yeah, quite alright. You're not wrong, God. Okay, check this out. We're at the top of uh, Mount Brunambra at uh, 1,480 metres above sea level. Did you know that? I knew we were high up. <laughs> yeah, 1,480 metres up above sea level here. And we're at the uh, fire tower. So uh, the range is mounted this, mount this. So uh, obviously to keep an eye out for fires. And I'll tell you, I'll just show you around here. Have a look at the view from up here. That, at the back of us just over there. That's Dark Mouth Dam. Hang up. Which is a sitting at about 100% well, capacity at the moment. And uh, way off in the distance over there is. Uh, geez, what was it? Mount Buffalo, wasn't it? Mount Bogon. Bogon, Bogon. Bogon. Mount Bogon. That's it, sorry. And there's actually a little little patches of snow on it. So it's just in the new year and it's still got a little bit of, bit of snow up there. But I tell you, you can just see for miles from here. I tell you, no wonder they make it put a tower up here for fire spotting because you can just. Just see so far. I don't know if you might be able to see it. But way off in the distance over that way, that's the New South Wales snowfields way over there. So it shows you how far you can see from up here. Wow. We're not at the top of the tower because the, the ranger station's above us and the little uh, shelter up there. So. Keep an eye on things. Uh, and then back around to my Bogon, Mount Bogon, which uh, I might say it's about 70 k's away. So that's to show you how far away you can. Um, no, that wasn't 70 k's. The other one, sorry, I got that wrong. Mount Buffalo, which is way over the back, it's about 70 k's, but I don't know if you can quite see that in the distance. Anyway, yeah, right. whatever it is, it's a long way. <laughs> There's an eagle. Is that an eagle? Alrighty, there you go. Just Mount, beautiful. Mount Brunambra. Fire tower, look out. No way. I've just finished having lunch at the uh, little hut here at um, Mount Brunambra. So just in the background there you can see that's uh, that's our view from our uh, lunchtime diner today. How was that, eh? That's Dartmouth down there, Lake Dartmouth. Dart they got a little, got a tin shed here, it used to be a wooden timber hut there years ago but they've um, refurbished or rebuilt it and put this one up here and they range isn't it? Stay in there when they're monitoring during fire season because the tower is just back up the road there, about 200 metres. So, yeah, you can sit here, have lunch, look out over Lake Dartmouth. How nice is that? All right, time to jump back in the car and uh, time to jump back in and um, head back down. Find some help. Hey? 
How you reckon, guys? How's that? Put the thumbs up from you, Davey. Very good, Davey. Yeah, good, good stuff, eh? Hey? What's me up to? Oh. You don't get caught going to the toilet again, will you? <laughs> <laughs> huh? Don't you get caught? <laughs> that too, yeah. yeah mate. Alrighty, let's go. What do you reckon, Duff? Thumbs up. It's been a great day. I've loved it. Yeah, it's been good, eh? Right out, let's roll. I'll miss the mountains. Yeah, just get a bit steep in here, dear. Mm. Have a top of this little drainage. Probably a bit hard to see on the GoPro on how steep some of this stuff is. You can look at it like that. <laughs> God. <laughs> One way traffic here, I think. You wouldn't want to have a car coming up to the way because no, you've got to God. It's straight down here on the right hand side. <laughs> oh no. Just look at that thing from that have a look down there. Oh god. Yeah, well you don't want to go down there. <laughs> and it's just a rock face on the other side. Right, we're at the uh, Tewa River. There's the boys getting all the gear ready. Old Vixter over there, ready to go for a canoe down here as well. We're chasing some cod. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's going to be an interesting day, eh? Very. <laughs> Looking forward to it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, water looks good. Beautiful, Tewa River. Just down from Mount Beauty. All right. Let's get these canoes going. Get on it. Staring as we stepped outside, they had only one goal. Give me all for your mind. I was no good, they said. You could do much better, but you gave them one little finger and the door shine. Cause I know we are real as can be. Although we stick to each other, we're free. We still dream. Going over here, nice between, going, between Maguire and Ross. Nothing on board yet. No. Put the chips on. Okay. <laughs> hey, no. Oh, oh, oh my God! Oh, Dean, are you serious? <laughs> nice to get an action shot up there, dear. No. No. Okay, we won't. Yeah, trying to make you look good. How you going, Slady? Pretty good, thanks. <laughs> nice oh, that's a nice oh. fish. I think I'll get him up to the surface. You can have a look. He's fighting a bit. Nice fish, eh? Nice. Yeah. Don't rob him. They got some spikes. Oh, check that out. Beautiful. That's got to be 650, 700, do not it? <laughs> Yeah, they got some boom here, haven't they? Come on. Well, you're all right, mate. You can walk up. Alright, I guess a look at it. I'll get out of the Is way. Is that sized? <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think you're pretty safe with that one, mate. I think we're pretty right with size. 
<laughs> right in the scissor. Oh, I'm one happy sure chappy. Like better go measuring, no. eh? No, it gives, it gives a good pose. There you go. Hop. Yeah, hop. Stretch your arms out so it looks yeah, bigger. Yeah, that's what it is. So it makes <laughs> it look bigger. Yeah. That's what you it do. It doesn't need to be any bigger. That's a good fish. <laughs> well that's done, Dino. Yeah, well done, mate. I oh, see so you're releasing Yeah, let him go. Catch and release. Catch and release. Yep. He's gone. There he goes. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, you're on, mate. <laughs> you want to see some action? I'll chuck one over there. <laughs> Here we go. Don't disappoint me, mate. I'll probably disappoint you. I disappoint <laughs> everyone else. You're nice now, Dino. Nice. Yeah, you want to look at something funny? You get me old mate Slater here. He thinks he's a fly fisherman. He hasn't got a freaking clue. Have a look at it. <laughs> he's doing well now. Oh, no, no, he just stuffed that up there. You can try to build you up a bit here, Slater, but he just stuffed it up. Hey, how's the serenity? Hey, we've, we're at a mate's property <clears throat> down here on the on the Kiwa River, uh, about halfway between Mount Beauty and Wodonga. So, lucky enough to have all this to ourselves. Check this out. Got the caravan down in here, right on the banks of the Kiwa River, which is just down there. Look at that. How yeah, nice. That's the gang over there with a couple of quieties. Happy hour. So anyway, we've been in the canoes, tano, uh, canoes today down trying to catch a few cod, but uh, old Dino, he's the only one that's snabbled one, as, uh, as you would have seen. So, but oh, dear, it's been great. Here with a couple of mates we used to go to school with back in the day, so a long time ago, so it's been great. It's been a couple of nights, I've well, got last night and tonight here, and uh, been great catching up with them and a uh, bit of reminiscing and uh, you can imagine some of the stories from back in those days. <laughs> So anyway, a bit coming down as well as you would have seen, so it's been good. So anyway, well, uh, sun's about to set shortly, so I'll just have a couple of, a couple of beers, a couple of great norms, of course. We'll get some, uh, got a steak on the, on the Weber tonight for tea, and uh, no doubt we'll sit around, sit around and talk a bit more, a bit more bullshit, that's what's going to be happening. <laughs> anyway, all right, well, uh, that's us for the last couple of nights. I'll tell you what, it's just lovely getting up here, it's, I don't know, it's just good to be back back in their old stomping ground, I guess. So, anyway, I'm going back to the conversation. They're probably talking about me. <laughs> I know. I know we are real as can be. You still amaze me. Now that we've come so far, they're going nuts about how happy we are. See the bond that we made It all seems real now that I'm not afraid And we really got them Yeah, we sure did write it out Cause we have each other That's what it's all about I was no good, they said You could do much better But you gave them one little finger And the door you got it. <laughs> now, can you please explain to me what you are doing here? Snatching you're playing with your snatch. So, you what, what did you say? Just playing with your snatch. <laughs> Something wrong with the hearing, Vic. He wasn't saying that on YouTube. Nah, just going to winch this tree off. To do that, you run the rope that way through a pulley block. It'll pull it because I've already cut it a bit. It'll just drag yeah, it off to the side. The... Then we can get past it. Tree trunk around. All right, All right let's go. Yeah. Good work, boys. Uh, will you be 
to get your snack strap on, uh, your block thing off there. Wide angle, wide angle, <laughs> alert, alert. Beep, beep, beep. On to the roof. See him. Hey! Oh <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fucking minus. <laughs> Right, we're up the back of Yak and Dan, they're doing a few tracks with a couple of mates, or with a mate and that, and he's, and, uh, he's brought it on this little hut here. Uh, not too many people know about it, but anyway, we'll take you inside and show you, check this out. Apparently the bloke used to live here, might have been, I think he might have been an old, old vet or something rather, and uh, didn't like the crowd, so he's got this thing out in here. Check it out. Yeah, I'm just trying. <laughs> hey, how's that, eh? Little pantry or something over there. Probably stacked his wood there. Little fire happened, fire on the stove type set up there. That's actually a well. So, water supply. See it over here. Right. Oh, how is it? It's even got a bath in it. Check this out. Oh, there's a sink. A little sink, and uh, see if he made himself a bath in here. I'd say that must have been his bed. Yeah, you know, there you go. Yeah, the outside of it used to be all covered in blackberries and uh, had some camo netting over the top of it, so it was pretty hard to actually see if you didn't know it was here. But anyway, I'm not sure how long ago it was when he lived here, but this used to be home for him. Yeah, there you go. I'll actually from the top, but like I said earlier, used to have uh, camo netting and stuff all over, so it was pretty hard to see it. Just had this little opening down here. Yeah. Bit of interesting stuff on the back of the Dander Hills. I just walked up a great big hill. <sighs> oh, that's my daily exercise. <sighs> you were tall, I looked up. From where I sat, wished I wouldn't dress up. Your first line, won't forget. So is it true, no one's taking you yet. I remember people staring as we stepped outside. They had only one goal. Give me all for your mind. I was no good, they said. You could do much better, but you gave them one little finger and the door shut. Cause I know we are real as can be. Although we stick to each other, we're free. We still dream of what we can
Oh, this is what's known as the Enchanted Forest. It's just, just not far out of Beechworth. I'm not sure what sort of trees are, but they're pretty big. Dead straight. Who knows what you might find in here? Oh, there's the missus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, check it out. Have a look at that. Yeah. Wow. It's unreal, isn't it? Come so far. They're going nuts about how happy we are. See the bond that we made. It all seems real. Oh, I don't know what's going on here in the enchanted forest here. Got all those little strange, well, I don't know what, like four bobby hobbits or something, I don't know. I'll tell you what they reckon. If you'd be real quiet, you got some real rare bird species here. Oh, look here, here they are. There's the little chicks in the nest. <laughs> you idiots. But I'm not afraid. And we really got them. Yeah, we sure did ride it out. Cause we have each other. That's what it's all about. I was no good, they said. You could do much better, but you gave them one little finger and the door shut. Cause I. Just try and go um, left hand down, mate. Yeah, just straight down. Couldn't see where the other rut was. Yeah, now you got it. Look at our slide marks, it's like a crocodile slide. <laughs> yeah, I'm just wondering what I'm going to do here. <laughs> nice, nice manoeuvre. There's a camera. <laughs> I'll be catching up with uh, an old workmate. He used to work back in the mines um, here in Beechworth. I have beat in Beechworth, so we, we want to have a bit of a wander around in town there today and a bit of lunch. And so we've just come out to, just out of Beechworth, or not, in between Beechworth and Wangaratta, a little place called El Dorado. And uh, it's an old gold, a lot of gold mining area around this place. And this here, I just show you behind me, is uh, an old um, dredge that used to go up the creek here, or they've turned it into more than a creek now, and uh, obviously dredge it all for the gold. So it's used to actually, this thing actually used to float, and uh, obviously dig up all the um, dirt, on, dirt in the creek sort of thing, and put it through the, put it through its uh, sluices and whatever in, in inside it. it. used to come go in that end, and come out this end. So you can actually go inside and have a look, well in part of it anyway, so we're going for a bit of a wander inside and have a look. Uh, you can see down there all the, all the buckets, we used to um, pick up all the dirt off the bottom of the creeks and that, and uh, cart it all, all inside. Um, it's a bit just an old pulley system, I don't know if you can see, see for all that, but all the tails and pulleys to uh, lift it up and down and I think you should swing a bit to left and right as well. Uh, yeah, come in here, have a look. Well, that looks like the control room. It's a bit of bar there. So, I guess a bloke used to stand, or probably a couple of bikes maybe, pulling on the levers to uh, get it all to happen. Right. <laughs> Oops. You know to see. Anyway, we'll see how we go. Yeah, there you go. You can see the little bucket things you used to cart it all up. 
along there and uh, up that way inside all right Oop. that there's an old the old switchboard power it all up there's electric yeah it's gonna be dark i guess i don't know how the light's gonna go oh it's looking looking through towards the I don't know what you call the front and the back of this thing, but no electric motor down the bottom there. It's actually sort of obviously full of water at the moment because it's not it's been abandoned and that left here now. Anyway, pretty cool. Just read on the sign up here a bit further. It says between about five and fifteen blokes used to operate it to uh, keep it working. Anyway, there you go, old Goldridge, El Dorado. Alrighty, see if you can guess this house behind me, whose house it is. I'll give you a couple of seconds to have a think about it. Give you a little clue, how's the serenity? <laughs> now, this is the old Daryl, Corrigan's out of the castle movie. This is that's the this this is the house that uh, that they lived in. This bloke here bought it and uh, he's transported it here to here in Beechworth, just up the back of Mayday Hills here. So that's it. The old, the old Corrigan's house from uh, the castle movie. I'll just take you around here a little bit further. And uh, they've even got a little carved statue with him here. There you go, there's old Daryl. There you go, tell them they're dreaming. The serenity. <laughs> oh well, didn't expect that, didn't expect to find that one here, did you? No. Oh well, oh, talk about, what's for dinner tonight, Dale? <laughs> no. What do you reckon? Maybe <laughs> lamb chops. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> there you go.